G'day friends, welcome to our Wednesday live. It's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. Um, today I thought we'd play with the lovely new Splendid Day Suite, which is available in the new Mini. I've been playing with this for a couple of weeks and I'm can't seem to put it down. So it's page 65. So that's it there. So you've got the lovely foil papers. The Splendid Thoughts. G'day Sharon. How are you? How's WA? Uh, Splendid Thoughts stamp set. And you've got the dies as well. So that's our stamp set. And this is our dies. The Splendid Stamps. Stem, sorry, and then you got your lovely paper. Yeah, I agree, it is beautiful, sweet. Um, I just grabbed the paper, I've used bits and pieces of it. Yeah, cold here too. Although we got a walk in this morning. Um, but in saying that, Belle slept in till about half past nine. So, so that's the um, soft sea foam side of things. There's a bigger piece. And then you've got your opposite side. I quite like that as well. Then you've got your fresh freesia. That's one side. And then that's the other side. Okay. So let's see if I've got four pages. So that's another side. That's the copper side. And then it's a Calypso coral side. Um, what else have we got? We've got this side. That's a coppery side as well. I can't get away from the reflection, sorry. And then you got the soft sea side, soft sea foam side of it. And then this, did I show you this side? I can't remember. It's probably the Sahara sand side. And then you just got the plain faint um, paper side of it. Um, I think that's it. I oh, know, I've got one there. Did I show you that? Yeah, I did. So I've only got bits and pieces of it left. Um, oh, and this is the last side, sorry. I think I should, yeah, no. So you get this in two so, um, colours. And then they're the opposite sides. I think I showed you those ones. Doesn't matter anyhow. Okay, so this is what we're playing with today. I'll just move all that out of the way. And I thought we would play with a scrap piece of DSP, of the paper from it. So it's a very simple card, but one that I've sort of thought it'd be a good way of using our small pieces of DSP. So that's what I'm going to use. And this is, the card was designed around this piece of paper. So what we're going to do, so this measures about three, I think. No, maybe three and a quarter by three and three quarters. So we're gonna chop it along the three and I've confused myself here. Three and a quarter side at <laughs> Let bear with me. <laughs> I've confused myself. 
So this piece measures three and three quarters. And I want to chop Okay, so I want to chop along the short side of it at one and a quarter and hope this is right. Whoops. And we're going to chop three pieces. Okay. Well, actually, I probably chopped the wrong side, but that's all right. We will just soldier on. I sometimes confuse myself with um, the size I'm going to chop. So it's a surprise when I actually get it right. Then we're going to bring in a small piece of Whisper White. Sorry, Basic White. And what I'm going to do, see I chopped it the wrong side. That's all right. I think I've got a couple of spare pieces. So then what I'm going to do, I think I've got a couple of spare pieces here. Yeah. These are just spare pieces hanging around, so luckily I put them in too. And I've marked that. And I've marked that side. Let's see if this works. We could almost chop and change design, so that's not a problem. really mucked this up haven't I Four. let's go there and let's use the opposite side eh this is a piece of Sahara sand but seeing as though this piece is plain let's go with that piece and what I'm gonna do is actually I shouldn't have marked that spot <laughs> all right let's do this let's do that eh So we'll go up this one, one, two, three, and four. Let's do that. So we'll stick this down. And see how we go. So this might go out of camera for a, out of shot for a little bit, but it's only while I hope you're getting a bit of crafting done. It's only while don't want this side. always good to compromise things never work out this, what you set out to do sometimes well half the time mine doesn't then we're going to do this one no we're going to leave that one and we will do this one
And we're going to put this one right down the bottom. I'm going to move it down a little bit. You'll see why shortly. And I want to make sure that's straight. I've done that the wrong side. God, I've mucked this up. So how this card turns out will be as much a surprise to you as it will be to me. So I'm going to go back with this piece of card only because I've marked it. Now you know what? Let's put that over there. This is going to give it a little bit of support anyhow. So that's done. This card is done. We've just got to chop this off. So I'm just going to use my scissors and hope for the best. can see myself doing a bit of um, quality control I suppose or adjustments when we finish so what we're going to do is stick this panel to a piece of soft sea foam Just like that. Everything looks a bit crooked. And let's chop this off a little bit. That's a bit better. And we've got this panel. Then what we're going to do is pop this up onto a piece of cardstock, basic white. I'm just looking for my... Hello Jenny, how are you? Yes, yeah, sunshine, I agree. We're just going to pop this up, Jenny, but I um, think I'll be making a few adjustments when we finish the mess. So we're just going to pop this up onto a piece of basic white cardstock. Boy, I'm not having a good day, am I? I don't see that. What should have been a very easy card, I've turned into a very, very complicated one. Then we're going to stick this to a piece of Sahara sand base card. Okay, just like that. 
Then we're going to bring in that piece that I stuck down to give a little bit of support. And I want to make sure that it's the actual size. So I'm just going to trim this off. Do a bit of running adjustment as we go and hopefully look at that bang then what we're going to do is grab our sentiment now I'm using the same sentiment um, sorry not the same sentiment the sentiment from um, the stamp set and we're going to do Let's Celebrate. So, are you in Margaret River? Yum. Nice food and wine there. So, let's hope that that's straight and that's straight. So just bear with me while I bring this down a bit. Do you know what? I'm just going to straighten this up a bit if I can. Otherwise, I'll be re remaking the whole card. So, I'll bring that down so I can see it. So, I might be able to. So what we're going to do is stamp that and let's hope it's straight, yep. So I've stamped that in Sahara Sand as well. Then we're going to pop that up with some dimensionals. One, two... How long are you down there for? And then what we're going to do is, just bear with me, I've just got to get this straight. Like that. So that is the basis of our card. Now what I've done is I've already pre-stamped and pre-cut this image and that image. So I'm just going to see which one will look the best. That one. Or that one. What do you think? Bring that down a bit. I think I like I like this one. Yeah, I agree, Sharon. I think I'm liking that. So, I, I was actually going to colour it in, but I think I'm going to leave it blank. Not blank. Um, LA Naturel. You like this one? That one? Put that one on. Or this one. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, I like both too, Jenny. Now, let's go for this one, eh? Just for something different. So, yeah, I like both too. So, I'm just feeling where I should put the dimensionals. Um, 
And then all I'm going to do, put a little bit of glue on the back. And we're going to pop that up just like that. And... I think we'll grab some um, linen thread and tie a small bow just get some scissors and we're going to get a little mini glue dot and pop this little bow at the bottom of our stem right there. Then I think what we will do is grab some bling and I think we'll go with the iridescent rhinestones we'll see how they look For my doobie dacker, but we'll use this one. We put one here, one there, one there, one up there, and maybe one more, and one there, and that is let's move that one to there i'll probably play around with this when we finish and that is our what was supposed to be a very easy card that i turned into a nightmare um using the splendid day thoughts now while i'm here i'll just show you a couple of others that I have done and if I can find so this one is the fresh freesia one so I've actually colored this one in with um, we don't have the Sahara sand stamp and blends so I've colored it with um, crumb cake so that's that one and I've still gone with the Sahara sand so that's that one and then this is another one that I did um, from another scrap of paper and it's with the soft sea foam so can you see that one as well I quite like that color but there's using the same basic layout but just a little bit different with the colours. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me and you'll find the tutorial and measurements later on during the day in our group. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. See ya. All right. Yeah, I've been playing lots, Sharon. See you later. All right.